Hey hey hey, my name is Paul Shanks and welcome to Sakura Beach, another episode, another day at the beach. Right, it's you Smoke can never get enough of the water. She's a champion swimmer at school too. So the student's job that she's actually a mermaid that grew legs instead of fins. I'm easy going anywhere near the waterfall. Is something wrong, Ayumi? Nothing at all. I just don't feel like swimming today. It would be more fun just to relax today. She lets out a loud yell. I guess I can understand why she does feel like swimming. As I sit on the beach with Annie, I slowly drift off into my own thoughts. How? I mean, if it's thoughts about her, I would understand. I just drift off too. The thing is, I am close to drifting off too. All right. Looking back at her, and my eyes are moving of my own accord. Say, I can't help but look at certain things. I know. What's on your mind, you fool? I immediately stumble with it and look away. N nothing. You got that look on your face again. But it's not like I'm worried about you or anything. I just think you look stupid when you do that. Just think about the upcoming exams, yes, exams. I think about that. We're here to forget our worries, aren't we? Yeah, but don't you think it's a bad idea to not worry about it? I want to do really well this year. Maybe reach the top of the class. Why aim so low? Go for top of the school. I'm telling this to Amy, one of the smartest students in our school. She just uh, shakes her head at me. No, 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 you fool. You don't think I can do it? It's not that. I think that you're doing it for the wrong reasons. What do you mean? Are you doing this because you want to get into a good university or something? Or is it just to show off? That's actually a good question. But it's one I'd rather not think about right now. I know, I just feel like making a change. Sometimes you have to make an effort to become better, don't you? Might as well strive to become the best. You don't need to be the best to be happy. In fact, I think too many people overlook their own happiness to chase lofty things. She happily figures her legs up and down. Look at Momoko, for example. She has terrible grades, but she never lets it get her down. Seiji, I just wanted to tell you. You need to start looking at things on Earth, not in space. There may be something you'll miss if you don't look. Something that I might miss if I don't look. I can't think of anything. Then you need to look harder. Amy stands up, turning herself and looking out loud. Yeah, it will be easy to fall asleep here, listening to the waves. SG! You look like you were spacing out for a minute. You were no daydreaming about. I wasn't daydreaming about space. Don't worry. Just thinking about things. I guess he can be excused this time. But don't think I'll let you get away with it next time. What do you think, Bart? It looks like we're deep in concentration there. Just musing over something that Yuli told me. I can't shake this feeling. Something has been bothering me since I came here. Both of them, I don't know. When you're with your friends, you can sometimes tell when there is just something wrong. It's not obvious or anything, it's something very subtle. Yet due to how subtle it is, you can't really make a big fuss out of it. Because you don't know if, you, if it's there or not. But I'm fairly certain this time. If something's bothering them, there is one... Only one thing I could possibly think of. They're coming out of the water now. I think it's a good time to ask.
ask about. Amy, I just thought I should tell you something. When you swim, it doesn't look like swimming. It looks more like something you're drowning and you don't want to do that, trust me. Spare me your condescending advice, Mama Go. I'm getting better every time I go out there. Before long, you'll have to ask me to save you. I tapped it. How can you just say that with so much certainty? Very easily. I just look crushed. You too. Can I ask something? Both of them look at me. What is it? You fool? Yes, silly. Mogo draws way too close to me for comfort. Did you want to know about my three sizes? So shameless, Seiji. But with you, I'll gladly reveal. No, that's not what I. Oh, so you do want to know? Don't put words in my mouth like that. I was going to ask about it at all. She's getting me completely off track from what I want to say. But it doesn't look like she's going to stop. But are you even just a little bit curious? She grins wickedly as she says that. A little bit, yes. If you come a bit closer, I'll whisper it to you. She leans over and puts her lips closer to my ear. I can feel my heart skip a bit. Wait, why am I letting myself... My free size is hard. No, CG, don't let yourself get distracted. You can't allow that. Not today. I think. Or maybe we can. Why not? She pauses, relishing the momentary silence. A secret! I can't. I mean, I can feel my heart sink as she says that. She was teasing me the entire time. I mean, that's a bit obvious, I guess. I have to keep my secrets, Eiji. If I just go around the delivery, here, no secrets anymore. She's pure evil, this girl. I can't believe I let her distract me like this. But now I'm going to. That's enough! You act so improper of all of the time, Momoko. I'm sure that Sage prefers someone who knows when to act mature. On the other hand, I mean, she doesn't need secrets at all. I know all three of them. You, you will stop right there. This probably does need to know that at all. I don't want to know anyway. What do you mean you don't want to know? I'm not good enough, you fool. But what? what, what? Doesn't seem mad about the idea of me knowing. If he doesn't want to know, then I want to know. I mean, I would like to know, uh, even if he wanted to know, but... I think my thinking process is not going very well. I would like to know no matter if he wants to know or he, ta he, or he does not want to know, I guess. Anyway. Oi, my Ayumi! I musically do want him to know. Anyway. What I wanted to ask you was about how you two have been acting. What do you mean, silly? There has been nothing unusual here. <clears throat> If you're referring to how I've tolerated her presence here, that is a favor I was willing to grant from the beginning. Acting surprised about it is now ridiculous. It's just that... How do I put it? How do I say that? I've done something over the last few days. Something? Like what? Mog's actually taking this seriously. What is it, Seiji? Seiji, again. Ayumi is taking it seriously too. Now that is suspicious. A little bit, I guess. I mean, 
maybe it isn't, but let's say it is. Did something happen to you too before we came here? I don't think that was a good question. But let's see the answer. If there will be answer. I just feel like you two haven't been yourselves lately. There's a problem, isn't here? Maybe... I can't say for certain I do not pay attention to my problems. Well... That's Momoko for you, I guess. I know that you think if there's a problem or not, for do not be deceived. But if there was a problem, what do you think this problem may be? Okay, they are forcing us to think. And... That's good. Hmm, well... Both of them seem to be anticipating my question. How do I put this? They seem to get edgier and edgier. So, uh... Do you do like someone? Both of them seem to go into a state of shock. I... Um, goodness! Mokka is actually flustered. Does she like someone to throw? Don't ask questions like this. It isn't right to pry into a lady's privacy. What's wrong with you? You're a rumor monger! I was just wondering. Both of you are acting a bit like that. You were talking to each other and lashing a fair bit before we went on the street. Where you talk about who you like. Both of them seem to be going to the meltdown. Great jets of steam erupt from their ears. Am I not that far from the truth? Seiji, you can't go and ask things like that. You have to work it out yourself. I suppose that was the point of this. Their reaction is far more telling than anything else. I think I'm finally onto something for a change. What brought this up anyway? Why did you ask this now? I didn't want to because I thought it might distract you from having fun. But whatever this is, I think it's bothering you both. So, if you want to talk about it, then I'm right here. That's our Seiji, always so considerate of others. I, it's not of that I see Moko taken so far back. Well, I'll be serious with you. I mean, serious. Maybe I do like someone. I don't know for sure just yet, so don't think I'm admitting to anything. Not at all, not at all. Well, anyway, I've known him for a very long time. He's someone very special to me. We'll just see what happens for... Okay, that's... That's the third friend's request today. That's freaking suspicious. Right, the uncertainty must be bothering you. You're absolutely right about that. If there's one thing that amazes me every time, say it's your intuition with these things. <laughs> or the lack of it. Don't give him too much credit. <clears throat> oh, oh right, I mean, is this the same thing for you? I don't have to answer that if I don't want to. But because it's you asking, Sadie, I think I might like someone. This is massive news. They might like someone. But then again, they could just be playing a trick on me. Moko, in particular, loves to tease me with such things. I mean, on the other hand, now she's really ever forward about what she means either. I know full well that she usually says the exact opposite of what she's meaning. For now, I'll just presume that they're being honest with me. It's someone you're very familiar with. Someone I'm familiar with? Who could that be? Since both of them are so polar at school, there's heaps of guys they talk with. I want to eradicate them all. Well, it's mo well most, most of the time they're rejecting guys rather than talking to them, but either way, good for them. 
they do know a lot of people. But they also say it was someone that I knew. Why do they look so nervous about this anyway? Someone. Would be a bad thing if I discovered who it was. It suddenly occurs to me who it might be. Could it be? All of them look really excited. The captain of the basketball club? Their expressions turn really sore. What? He talks to you two all the time, doesn't he? Well, not so much talk as he get brutalized by them all the time. He just keeps going back more to me than ever for. Moko just pouts. So close, yet so far, Sadie. I would not like him in a thousand years. I honestly can't believe you sometimes. That guy's a complete idiot. Even more so than you are. Sorry, I honestly don't know who it could be. Both of them let out a heavy sigh. One day, Sadie. One day, maybe, maybe we'll work it out. Somehow, I don't think so. She actually looks really upset by this. Momoko, are you okay? I don't feel like swimming anymore. Ben cover she quickly grabs her face. Not only do you completely fail to understand my feelings, but you won't tell me what's wrong with you. What's, what's wrong with me? But I'm fine. We both know that you're bothered by something. You've got that look on your face. That silent look. She begins to wander off from the beach. Hey, where are you going? For a walk. Alone. I open my mouth to say something, but then I think of better of it. This isn't a good time for me to say anything. Look back at a week, her story is drilling a hole through my head. I'm afraid. I feel the same. I need some time alone. This is something I say a lot, but you really are stupid sometimes. We trust you enough to talk about our feelings, yet you avoid talking about your own. What do you mean? My feelings? You know exactly what I mean. If you think you're fooling anyone, you're wrong. It's beginning to make sense. Maybe if it had nothing to do with love at all. But I've been subtly pushing them away and they've noticed. Amy drags herself out of the shallows and marches off in the opposite direction. For a moment I just stand there and try to process what just happened. It wasn't really my place to ask about why, who they like, I admit. But why did they react like that only after I got it wrong? They looked so happy when I was going to guess. Perhaps they aren't upset that I asked, but because I got it wrong. Damn it, I really wish I was smarter, smarter sometimes. Or maybe I just don't understand them because I'm a guy. Maybe what should I do in the meantime? You don't want to talk to me right now. Maybe I'll go for a walk too. They should have their phones on them. I'll be able to message them later and see where they are. Or something like that. Or you just go to their room and try entering their room. I'm sure they will be waiting there in underwear. In the end, I wandered back to the apartment. But the hours passed and there's still no sign of either of them. I wouldn't have asked if I knew that it would upset them so much. Sometimes, I really do hate myself. I know what you mean. Spending a little bit more time thinking before saying something. That would really do me a world of good. But I can just sit there and mope. I need to find them and bring them back home. Damn it, I should have been a lot more careful with what I said. I, I did know asking them that would upset them so much. And it's not asking, it's your ass for actually. Your own. She responds. I feel immensely relieved. Then I actually read it. I'm fine. I made a cliff. Now that sand trickles down my spine. Normally when she messaged me, she barely cares about feeling at all. The fact that she said something so short and so correctly. She must be absolutely furious with me. I need to go apologize to her immediately. Let's try, I me too. She responds to Mind your own business, you fool. Well, that time for you. I think I should see her first. To my relief, I see Ayumi at the park. Sitting now on one of the many benches. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to approach her. Just act natural. Do your best to smile. Ayumi! <laughs> she looks back at me. Sage, I hope you're here to apologize. But... 
don't understand what I said to both of you. Please just talk to me. <laughs> I don't want to upset you. Oh, Seiji. I know you never meant any harm to either of us. You're a bumbly awkward fool, but you're not one who's nasty in any way. But you really don't understand a girl's heart. That's why I'm asking you what's wrong. I'm a fool, I admit it. So help out a fool here. Are both of you so scared that I'm just going to leave you both behind? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Perhaps. But as with everything about you, I know there's more to it than you're letting on. You've always tried to hide your own heart. She moves a bit closer to me, look at me in the eyes. You haven't been yourself for months? I, I, I haven't. I didn't really notice. Why do you think I haven't been myself? Normally, when Moko teased you, you turned as red as dead sunset in front of us. You really are a shy person. She looks back towards the horizon, something melancholy about it. Right now, all you do is just nod and smile. It's as if you're barely recognizing what's happening around you right now. Leaning back on the bench, she stares up at the stars as they slowly merge from the orange sky. You're somewhere else right now. I don't know where, maybe it's somewhere between the North Deeper and the Orion's Belt, knowing you. But whatever it is, it's far away. There is none of Ayumi's haughtiness right now. She's been completely frank with me about how she feels. Don't you feel it? Don't you feel how you're slowly drifting away somewhere? I. Is this what Morko was talking about? This trip is the first time we've seen in weeks. You're sacrificing all of your time for that dream of yours. But if I don't make sacrifices, how will I reach that dream? It's not a question of how much you want to give up for it. It's a question of whether you'll find what you want out of that dream. That's actually pretty wise to say. Have you ever thought if that is really what you want? Of course it is what I want. Why else would it work so hard for it? Is that so, Sage? Have you looked deeper? Or is something else driving you to do this? That is what I'm trying to work out. I don't really know why is it such a big deal. Lots of students nothing but put their time to study, don't they? It's not the same when it's you. How is it not the same? Because you're acting like how you used to back when we first met. She's bringing it up now. I admit I was a trouble kid, a lot of things happened. But I guess sometimes the past comes back to you in weird ways. Something has happened. And whatever it is, it's pushing you along this path. You have decided what it really is that you want out of life. If you sacrifice everything for the sake of an ambitious dream, there's no telling what you may miss out on if you do. And you do not know if the dream will merely leave you empty. For desire like yours, it's not one that can be sated so easily. I doubt that once you get to where you want to be, you won't look back without regret. Well, I'm not very smart. I don't think I can lose, give a lot of time to do something. That's why I'm giving so much time to starting right now. I swear that we'll spend close time with each other once exams are over. Will you? Or will you simply continue for the ne next exam? And the exam after that? Team must move faster than you can run, Seiji. No matter what you do, know that it, I'll do my best to be there when you need me. But if you keep running, going to have a trip over it one day as I run after you. And then you disappear into the horizon. She looks out towards the sea then. Something hurt you lately, Seiji. There's no hiding, I've known you for nearly as long as you've known yourself. Whatever it is, it's what's driving you to hide from us. I've played a fool for long enough. So you may hide behind those smiles and gentle words. But the truth can never be hidden. Okay, you are sounding like a superhero again. Perhaps I am. But it makes what I'm saying no less true. She finally stands up from the park bench and stretches. I'm going back to the hotel. Do not think it is over, Sergi. Before we leave this place, we'll talk about this. 
I understand. Probably. She nods and smiles gently. I suppose I can let you off just this once, you fool. She slowly walks out then. I guess it's over. For now. I still have go to go see Momokofo. I wander back to the cliffs after talking to Aimi. Does Moko know the way to my secret spot? Sure enough, she's standing there looking out at the sunset. Momoko, are you okay? Sadie, I'm fine. She looks out towards the rippling ocean before her. Sadie, I wish you would really see me. But I do see you. No, you don't. You don't see me at all. That's why I'm scared that you will disappear one day. You're so busy about your dreams and achieving these grand things. But you still don't see me. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I know that you don't. That's what, what hurts so much. She walks over to me and lays against my shoulder. You're adorable, Sadie. No matter how much you fail to see what's around you, I can't help but feel the same way about you that I've always have. Feel about me? What do you mean? She shakes her head. Something about her seems really lonely. Wake up from the dream, Sadie. I know they're looking for your answer out there among the stars. Don't look up there for what you want. Look down here instead. I don't say this because I want to hold you back or anything. But he said it's because I don't want you to reach that pinnacle. Yet not find what you really want up there. What is she talking about? Just, I just... She's trying to find the word she wants to say. Is there something you haven't been telling us? This is like you at all. For weeks now you've barely said a thing to either of us. Please, Sage, what is bothering you? And why are you pushing us away because of it? I... I didn't know I was... Pushing you away. I just needed some time to think about something. Think about what? What is it you can't tell me? I've known you for so long, Sadie. So why can't you tell me about this? It just... It just complicated. Is it ever simple with you? She reached out to me, putting one hand on my cheek. Adorable, see me, Sage. Your repulsion for more complex than anyone could ever guess. I wish I knew where to put all of the pieces. But you can do that for me. When you find you have the courage to talk, I'll be here for you. Like I always have. She pulled her hand away, looking back towards the ocean. It looks like someone is listening in. Amy pops out of the undergrowth. I was I was just ensuring that nothing strange was happening. Nothing strange at all. The point the two of them have tried to tell me is that I may regret studying so hard. Perhaps they're right. I mean technically for example if you fail after studying very hard, yeah you might regret studying. <laughs> But honestly, if he's stunning and basically completely avoiding those two, which I don't understand why it would be, he might burn himself out. Anyway, they're both right about something happening too. But I still don't want to talk about it. What they made me realize is that death would happen because of me more than I admitted to myself. In the end, I tried to choose ignorance of the truth. And yet, that didn't work at all. What Amy said is that if I don't get out of this mindset, I would ever stop. Would I ever stop? Would I just keep going for the rest of my life at this pace? Give up everything just to do the next exam, the next assignment, to get the next promotion. It's left me with a lot to think about. Hey, I... What the fra? What? F they are passionately locking their lips together? They're ripe while it's all squashed against each other. Uh, 
The two of them stand there for the longest time? As time passes, the case gets more and more loot. I swear that they are using their tongues. This... This would almost look like a scene of, out of a romance movie. Yeah, romance movie, sure. That more advanced romance type of movie. As I look down, I can't help but notice where their hands are moving. It's it's too much to behold. Were you saying something, Seiji? Is something wrong? How could they be acting like nothing is happening at all? Which is why is Ayumi joining in on this, on this teasing? His smoke finally corrupted her words, more my morals. You, you, you two. Why are you? Is something wrong, Seiji? You're all right. They immediately go back to what they were doing when I interrupted them. They are really getting into it. Ah, n no, uh, well, uh, there are rare moments with these two where I'm left speechless. This is one of them. Seiji! Moko goes out to me with a seductive tone. What are you doing over there, Seiji? Is much part of it than it is to watch? If you simply stand on the sidelines for their life, you will have never to lift. Say is the moment, Seiji. Even during this situation, let me find someone to give me a motiv motivational speech. No, I mean, I'm fine over here, thank you. Uh, live at the Seiji. There are times where you must try new things. Is this what this is all about? Trying new things? Are they? I can't even think straight. Same! Despite my best efforts, I can't help but keep watching their lips. They pull back. Sticky strands between their mouths. This is nice. You're so right. It would be even nicer with a fat person. That is true. What are you doing over there, stupid? Look, I'm fine. You two go ahead. I just remember something I need to do. I need to get away from them. Give my head time to cool off. Yes. Let's give ourselves time to cool off. Let's end the episode. I'm starting with pre-recording. Immediately. Just need something and uh, we shall continue in the next one when while Seiji will be cooled off. So one day pause for him when it comes to uploading. So yeah, for now hope you enjoyed it. See you no, to no, to, today. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.